Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to the second part of the ninth lecture of Statistics and Probability Theory. The topic, uh, we will continue with the topic expected value and variance of continuous random variable as we were discussing in the part 1 of this lecture. Expected value of continuous random variable. Let x be a random variable with probability distribution f of x. The mean or expected value of x is mu. Mu is basically uh, is the Greek letter which we use for representing the mean. Population mean mu is equal to expected value of x which is minus infinity to infinity x into f of x dx. This is the way to find out the mean of the random variable x. Let me explain this through the help of the example. Let x be the random variable that denotes the life in hours of a certain electronic device. The probability density function is f of x is equal to this, x is greater than 100, 0 elsewhere. This means that this particular function 20,000 of over x cube is defined on this limit x is greater than 100. If we substitute the value less than 100 will definitely give this function the output of 0. That's why it's written 0 elsewhere. The value of the function other than this limit is 0. Find the expected value of this device. How we can find out this expected value of this device? We know that it is expected value of x which is equal to minus infinity. 2 plus infinity x into f of x. You can write here p of x as well because this is probability density function. So f of x and p of x means the same meaning is equal to this. Now what is equal to? It is equal to we are going to integrate x and our function is twenty thousand over x cube and the function is defined x is greater than hundred so it is obvious that lower limit is hundred as upper limit is not defined, so it would be infinity. dx as 20,000 is the constant. We can take it outside. As you all know, already know this through calculus. 100 to infinity as this x over x cube so 1 over uh, 1 of the x is cancelled out we will left with 1 over x square dx now as we know that we can integrate it as 20,000 100 to infinity this would be x raised to power minus 2 dx and we will get 20,000 
x raised to power by using the rule of integrations minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 and the limit is from 100 to infinity. By substituting these limits, you will get the answer to 100. How you will substitute this limit? You will use the upper limit first. Let me take the 20,000. outside and this is the bracket this would be minus 2 plus 1 would be minus minus 1 so it would be equal to x raised to power minus 1 so this is minus x raised to power minus 1 and this would be with limit 100 to infinity. So this would be equal to 20,000 and first we will substitute the upper limit which is infinity raised to power minus 1 and this minus and minus would be equal to plus and it would be equal to 100 raised to power minus 1. As you all know that infinity raised to power minus 1. Let me explain it here. Infinity raised to power minus 1 will be equal to 1 over infinity and something 1 over infinity will always equal to 0. So whole this term will be equal to 0. So you will left with 20,000 into 0 plus 1 over 100. As it is 1, 100 raised to power minus 1, we can write it 1 over 100. When you multiply this 20,000 inside this bracket, 0 into 20,000 will be 0 plus 20,000 over 100. This would be equal to 200. So, this is the way to find out. Therefore, we can expect this type of device to last on average 200 hours. As x is the random variable which was indicating the hours, life in hours of a certain electronic device. So, when you are finding the expected value of x, it means mu, it means you are finding out the average life of this particular device which is 200 hours. Variance of continuous random variable. As we know, uh, we already learned this in the case of discrete that sigma square is the variance of continuous random variable which is equal to expected value of x minus mu whole square. When you open up this, this would be equal to, you will integrate it on the whole limit x minus mu whole square f of x dx. This is for the case of the continuous random variable. On simplifying this, as we already discussed in the case of discrete random variable, x minus mu whole square when you open up this formula by using a minus b whole square formula which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. On simplifying this, you will get this, this particular formula sigma square is equal to expected value of x square minus mu whole square. So, you can use this formula to find out the variance of the continuous random variable. 
Let me explain this through the help of the example. The weekly demand for a drinking water product in thousands of liters from a local chain of efficiency stores is a continuous random variable x having the probability distribution. This f of x is equal to 2 into x minus 1 defined on the limit 1 is less than x less than 2, 0 and square. Find the mean and variance of x. We already know how to find out the mean. Mean is basically mu is equal to expected value of x which is equal to 2 into f, uh, x into x minus 1 dx and this expected value of x squared is used to find out the variance of this particular random variable. Now if you want to find the expected value of x it could be find out like this, which is equal to by using integrating the function on the whole limit x x into f of x dx which is equal to we know the limit is from 1 to 2 so the whole range is from 1 and 2 x into 2 into x minus 1 dx as 2 is a constant so we can write it as 2 into x into x minus 1 dx two you can use this bracket one two two let me take this x into this bracket. This x into x will be equal to x square dx minus x d x which is equal to 2 into x raised to power 3 by using the rule of calculus for integration over 3 minus x square by 2, 1, 10, 2. As we all know, there is a rule in calculus then that whenever you are integrating x raised to power n dx, it will be equal to x into raised to power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus some constant. This is the rule. We are simply using here as we have 2 n is equal to 2 here. So by using this x raised to power n plus 1 we have x raised to power n plus 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 which is 3. 
divided by 3 which is n plus 1 means 2 plus 1. Similarly, we have integrates. So here we have n is equal to 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by 2. So, this would be equal to 2 into, we will first substitute the upper limit which is 2 raised to power 3 over 3. Then we substitute the lower limit 1 by 3 as 1 raised to power 3 is 1 again minus 2 raised to power 2 over 2 minus 1 as uh, this 2 should be multiplied by this term 2. So here we have 2h 2. So this would be equal to this 2 raised to power 3 it means 8. 8 minus 1 7. 7 by 3. So it would be Fourteen by three minus this would be four, and uh, this two and this two would be cancelled. Four minus one would be three, and this would be fourteen minus nine over three, which will be equal to. 5 by 3. So this is the solution of expected value of x. Similarly, you can find out the expected value of x squared. What you have to do, you simply have to integrate expected value of x squared like this. 1, 2, 2 till x square 2 into x minus 1 dx. So on simplifying this, you will get 17 over 6. So by using the formula of the variance which is equal to expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square. As we know that expected value of x square is 17 by 6 which is this minus expected value of x whole square which is 5 by 3 is substituted with here. So the variance is 1 by 18. This is the way of finding out the uh, expected value and variance of the continuous random variable.